We're back. We have Ide, uh, African Cuban in the United States. It's a unique multidisciplinary theater project combining spoken word and theater with live jazz music and modern dance, as well as some hip hop beats. Now, celebrating Latinx, Black, Afro Latinx, and immigrant traditions in the Bronx. And we got some very special guests with us. The details are the creative director of Creative Arts Program, Gail Heidel, and award winning poet and playwright Paul S. Flores. We welcome you all. Thank Good to you. Have you. Good to see you. Good to have Thank you. you. So talk to us. us about this. This is a very uh, special event. Sure. Uh, we are going to be having this event on March 9th at Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education. We're mm -hmm. located at 928 Simpson Street in Hunts Point. We'll have a storytelling workshop with Paulus Flores and some of the other artists uh, from the production starting at 11, and then the performance will be at 2. And, Paul, you want to tell us about what's going to yeah. happen? Well, um... I would love people to come see the gallery show that's uh, at Casita Maria. Um, and I think folks would uh, come check out, you know, what, 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 is, what's, what kind of art is produced in, in the Bronx when you talk about um, Afro-Latino traditions, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, the, the gallery show looks at four people's history and connection to, to Cuba and documents it through video, photo, and all four of the folks that are featured in the in the um, show are artists. So the 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 gallery show is based on a play that I wrote um, called "We Have E Day," uh, that really kind of just gets into the traditions um, from Cuba that we have brought over to the United States. So those traditions could be anything from food to dance to music to um, the way we talk, all kinds of things like that. So the 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 show is specifically a um, a story about four folks from Cuba who come together in the United States. They have a party. They make some. They uh, they uh, have a, a, a show and basically um, tell their stories about how they got to Cuba, how they came from Cuba to the United States. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about Casino Maria and having the opportunity to put this together. Sure. Well, uh, in our gallery, we have four exhibitions per year. And when I was planning this season, I reached out to Paul Flores. We had met a couple of years ago. I was going to be going to California, where Paul's from, and I reached out to him to see if he had anything in production. He said, actually, he was uh, working with Pregonas Theater and Rosalba Rolón on this project. And, uh, and so over the course of two years, he ended up... Uh, partnering with Eli Jacob Fantauzi um, in creating this exhibition specifically for Casita. And then, you know, through the planning process, we realized, you know, we could also host tours for young people um, during this week leading up to the performance on Saturday. Um, and we could also have a, a family storytelling workshop where people can come in and work with the artist and learn how to tell their own story um, through both music uh, and spoken word. Mm -hmm. Storytelling workshop, all right? Everybody, you know, doesn't know how to tell a story, but, of course, people get some help in terms of doing that learning and even becoming more familiar about it. Walk us through this. What exactly is that kind of workshop, and what do people learn? Uh, well, um, we're using the workshop to kind of also give an uh, insight into my process for creating work, right? So the show is really the true stories of folks. Um, the, the, my, my collaborators were telling their true stories, uh, through music, uh, theater, um, poetry. I'm going to ask the people who participate to do the same thing. We're going to take a story from your own experience living in the Bronx or your traditions or the way your mom made coffee or whatever, and we're going to turn that into a performance. It's a short one, you know what I mean? So everybody who comes through the workshop, um, I have a little format where we talk about a tradition that they practice in the Bronx or they practice at home, and then we tell the story of it, maybe two, three minutes long at the most, and then we add uh, a, a dance choreography movement to it or a certain beat from ladies, and then it turns into basically a multimedia story. And that's all we're going to be doing. It's mm. going to be fun. Invite people to come on out. Listen, March uh, 9th from 11 to 1.30, you can come and do this and be a part of this. And uh, so for people who want to find out more, what do they do? They're going to go to casitamaria.org backslash events, mm -hmm. and you can you know get more information there, and you can also register. Uh, you can register for the workshop and then also register for the performance just so we know how many people to expect. Or you could just show up and say, hey, I'm looking here for I'm Paul here, Florida. man. Come on, I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, just, I'm coming to crash this joint and learn. Exactly. It is, it is free. So we're not charging anybody. Mm -hmm. So folks can just, just show up and, and experience it. We'd love to have like information 
a registration. But if you don't have access to a computer, but you got this, you know, show on your screen or whatever, right? Just come through on Saturday between eleven and two p.m. And it's almost like it's almost like two years in the making, right? Because you said you went out to visit mm -hmm. them, and then so yep. no, so, we have a great collaboration. We've been working really good. I want to say that Casita Maria is an amazing place. They do a bunch of excellent youth arts programming, but then their gallery folks are really professional, totally organized. Um, it is super neighborhood based, so you know this is a Hunts Point, you know, cultural center. You feel mm -hmm. me? So um, I, I hope that folks in the Bronx take advantage of Casita Maria, and you know, uh, you know, give thanks to to Gail and all the staff over there because they do a lot of work and wonderful, wonderful things for the community. No, amazing. It's glad that glad that we're able to you know bring you guys on and talk about this, and certainly come on out the workshop. All that we have to you know all that you find out, all that's out there. And I uh, want you to take full advantage of it. Now, if you want to find out more about the Theater Project performance, uh, we have either. Uh, you can visit casitamaria.org events. And uh, guess what? We're taking a break. We'll be back. we got a little bit more show. Don't go anywhere. Coming back in a few.